Hello and welcome back to Flooded. In our last episode, we played through Chapter 5, The Storm, a second time, and managed to finish it successfully, just barely. So today we're going to take a look at Chapter 6, Take a Breather. Theo, as was the castaway's name, leads the miners to where his men had set up their camp. They are hardly moved by his return, though. They do put forward an interesting proposal. We're going to stay uneasy, I think, just to give us a little bit more flood meter time. Uh, and we'll, of course, keep with Miles, because that's the only command. Oh, no, we have more. We could leave. Oh, we could let Henry or Ellen lead. That might be interesting. Ellen allows you to move the buildings. And gives you a bonus, starting bonus of copper. Well, that's how we have that one underwater mining shaft always. That's that's Miles's bonus. Uh, Henry gives us a passive ability, a defensive tactics. And a starting bonus of lead. Interesting. Um, I think I'll still stay with Miles because I do like that passive ability for the collective work. Do we have any other tools yet? Yes, we do. Orb of Clairvoyance. Some people don't believe in magic, but, if, but you use it to learn which resource will be needed to move to the next era once you've completed your goals. Allows you to take over a turret and protect the island from raiders yourself. Ooh, that's kind of fun. To use this relic, click on any turret. Then in the turret overview menu, click the Take Over Relic button that's marked with the crosshairs icon. Focal Stone, an ancient artifact of unknown origin. It enshrouds the island in a magical barrier that deals damage to any unit passing through it, yours included. Interesting. Hmm. Let's try this Orb of Clairvoyance here. See if I remember to use it this time. Actually, that was automatic. Then you don't have to click anything, so that's better for me. <laughs> okay, let's get started on Chapter 6. There's a camp ahead. Are those sailors? Who knows? Why don't you ask them yourself? Hello, we're trying to find some sailors. Are you a sailor? Maybe. Wow, he's big. All sailors are big. Look who we have here. Theo, you dark. We thought you were dead. Who are these people? Thanks for the warm welcome, Nicholas. They're miners who saved me. They're looking for other survivors and information on the deluge. Oh, then we don't have any common goals. I'm neither interested in the flood nor its causes. We're sailing for the world's highest mountain to settle there. The world's highest mountain? What is that place? I don't trust you enough to share that information. But you know what? If you want to learn more about the flood, maybe we could help each other. There are rumors that these so-called pirates have something to do with it. Oh, we did have a chance to meet them. Strange people. Right, now we're waiting for their convoy that should be passing through here. We need to seize their supplies. We need their supplies, and you need information. We don't have enough people to seize it without a flight without a fight, though. But with you, we could do it easily. Plus, this way you can prove who side you're on, and maybe you earn a ticket to the world's highest mountain. Deal? I guess we have no choice. So be it. Great. In the meantime, you can set up camp on that island. We've got you've got some ruins there left by the previous owners for a good start. Hee <laughs> hee. In that case, I'll stay with the miners for a while to help them. As you wish. Good luck. Nice guy. Is he always like that? I'm afraid so. Alright, let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. Uh, let's see. We could, again, use more, probably more people. What is this? This is a ruin. Let's uh, rebuild that. Cost us 750 iron. I just spent all my iron. We got, we got a minute, though. We'll be fine. Come on, come on, come on. Go. And that becomes a solar panel. Oh, nice. All right, so then um, that'll be more people. We're probably going to need some water then. Yeah. Uh, rainwater filter could be good, but let's just do a couple of these. One of these. Rebuild all runes. We're working on it. Need lots of iron. Lots and lots and lots of iron. <laughs> and that's a warehouse. Nice. Probably also do one of these when we get the iron enough. Yep. Yeah. All right. Should be about time to do a quarry, perhaps. Start collecting some stones here. Although, no, these are all twos and higher, so... 
We'll wait on that. There's some ones out here, but we don't need to do that yet. Let's re rebuild this one too. That is a well. Oh, well. Uh, we're going to need one more warehouse. And one more ruin. Well, actually, we should try and do all ten. So we can get the blue. The blue mark. Can I build the uh, shipyard? Yeah, we could. In theory. Okay, we got the first red one. We need to activate the monolith. Which is that one. Okay. Get out of my town. Okay, so now we want to just rebuild the... The uh, ruins. Oh no, that was a learning. Those are living quarters. Rebuild the ruins just to get credit here for the um for the what should we call it for the for the blue to get the extra diamond. One here. Where are the rest? Did I just gloss over them? More living quarters. We need one more somewhere. Oh, right there. It was behind the question mark. Didn't see it. A uh, little bit more iron and then a lot of iron. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And that was a wind turbine. Oh, nice. You can start earning some power before we even start any earning some power. We have some extra people, too. That's good. Actually, we're already earning power anyway because of the solar panel. We're already maxed out. Hmm. Is there any more iron mines we could pick up on? Don't think so. Doesn't look to be. Um, we should put up some some uh, what call it some um, warehouses along these edges, or do the uh, do the shipyard and the boats, uh, the reconnaissance ships, so that we can. Or no, sorry, the the container ships. We can collect these items. Maybe the container ships are a better investment, along with the shipyard, of course, um, because that'll be two thousand plus fifteen hundred each. Whereas each of these is going to be a thousand, so maybe not. But these will disappear after a little, after a minute each time, reach each, each seven-minute uh, collection here or uh, flood here. Some island we've got. Thanks for nothing. No deposits, neither on the surface nor below. We won't survive here for long. Sailors have different needs than you, miners. I'm sure Nicholas meant well. Let's say I believe you. Could he at least sell us some resource in exchange for, say, iron? I could arrange that, but in the meantime, you need to build a port to enable the unloading of goods. And obviously, you need to gather some of that iron for trading. I'll take care of the rest. Oh, that would be great. To be honest, I don't feel like negotiating with your boss. I didn't take a liking to him. I could see that, but maybe you'll change your mind. He's just a little distrustful of strangers. Right. You're unable to produce a resource. You can purchase it from nearby trade centers. To make a transaction, you must first own a port and have discovered at least one trade center. Once these requirements are met, go to the trade menu and click on the goods you're interested in to make a purchase. Discovering more trade centers will unlock new goods for purchase. Uh, sparkling water decreases water consumption in the mine and mining shafts. Artificial island. Artificial ground has a 10% chance of not sinking during the flood. It stacks up to 5, so that's a 50% chance. Compass decreases the chance of discovering threats or anomalies in mystery spots by 20%. Let's do this one. And maybe I'll actually do it this time. I think I'll do the shipyard, though, so we can do the container ship thing. Because uh, that could be useful. And then build a port, of course. Let's get some of that iron in here. Once we get the offshore, the underwater mining things, we can we can do that. There are a few spots underground here. Maybe they're all, um, whatchamacallit, uh, something. Let's also do this. Right there. 
Maybe they're all, um... Chests. That's the word. That's the word. Let's see, where are we going to put these at? Maybe over here. Still need more iron. Ouch. Can I upgrade? No, they need 2,000 to upgrade. Bummer. Um... I guess I need to build... We don't have any copper, though, so I can't. I need to do this container ship thing first. I could do the port, but I think I'm going to do the ship thing first. Let's put it here in the middle of my islands. And then we can do the container ships. At 1,500 piece. I'll just do, like, two or three of them. Just kind of spread them along this area here, kind of. Once we collect the items we have. Good. You are removing stones. Very good, very good. Clean up the mess. Come on, clean up the mess. There we go back over here, and I think I'll just park it right over here someplace. For now. That'll at least get us started. Uh, port. And then I do want to do a research center as well. Monolith of Serenity stops the storm. That was the monolith we, we uh, activated. We have our port now, so now we need to conclude trade transactions. So where do we find trading spots? Here? Yes, trade centers. Okay, so here, and then we can trade for some of each of those. 1100 iron becomes 1000 of either of those, and it gets worse every time you click. Or we can get a mystery box for 500. Mystery box for 500, Alex. We're gonna let this flood happen without making any changes, I think. Um, let's do... I still need to build a research center. Yeah. Okay. But that's just for the artificial ground. The stuff we build out of lead. Which we can't actually even... Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. Okay, so... Um, trade transactions. Right, we need to keep doing that. Uh, here, please. Let's just do... Actually, probably more lead. And then let's do some of the artificial ground. I want to protect here. Um, here. Okay, it goes up by 10% each time. It's understandable. That one's going to be rough. Maybe I won't bother protecting that one. Um, I want to build a, another... Nope, 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 nope. Another battery here. Okay. Oh, we got a crate. 700 copper. That's useful. And then here underground, if I built a radar. Right there. It's another ruin, too. Let's get that. That's another wind turbine. We're going to need some more water storage. Can I upgrade both of those? Just one of them for now. Ah, yes, we need more power. And then, um, with the additional water storage, we need to get up to. We probably need to. We need to build a couple as well. Um, I may want to just move this quarry. Yeah, let's demolish it. Build another one over here. The reason being that way we can get rid of those other stones there too, and we should probably also do the same. Or build a quarry over here. 
It'd be one there, one there. Just to kind of cover most of that island. We don't have any lakes again to use the natural reservoir, which is kind of a bummer. That's okay. Let's capture some more water from this. Let's upgrade these. I should have done that already once. At least. Mystery spot between land obstacles. Great. Oh, right there. Yep. Good. And so then this um, radar can be deleted now. And we can build another one. Where the other stuff is. Uh, over here. That one's safe. For now. Safe enough for now. Upgrade again. We do some more wind turbines. Not yet. Still, we can do solar panels, but not wind turbines. But that solar panel is too close to the edge. I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much. Uh, but actually, I should have been doing something better. Uh, I should have been doing this. Let's do one of those just for fun. Rare wet performance screw. Mm -hmm. Let's do some of that. And then uh, let's build a couple more container ships. And we need more water coming in because we're not getting any rainwater. Uh, but I do want to upgrade this so that we can have plenty of storage for water. We don't have any natural water, so we can't use these either. I'll show a couple more of these, or should I just, I'll just upgrade? We're not taking up the space. Oops, misclicked. Click the wrong one. All right, you can go over this way, and then up in here, and you can come out this way. And over in here someplace. Why you not pick that up? Whatever. Oh, I don't have... Okay, I have room for iron. Right, uh, let's upgrade some more stuff then. Like that. That'll do. And let's get that 8,000 water done. Anywhere else I need to protect? Um... That one, I could just let it go, or we could protect it with one, I guess. That's, yeah, that's a bit too much to try to protect, I think. I think we're better off not. Oh, we have a crate here, too. Open, please. And what about underground? Crate here. Good. Open that, please. Let's blow this up and build one more radar. Over here. Uh, right there. Get out of my town. Mystery spot underground. Crate. Okay, and then this radar's done, and we're done with radars. I think I'll let that go, too. It's a lot to try to protect. So we're probably going to need a little bit more housing coming into the next place. So let's upgrade one more of those. And then we have lots of irons. So let's trade. Um, up here. Actually, I don't need any... I don't need any um, copper. Uh, let's do some of this, maybe. Trade again. Nope. This is a little bit cheaper. Come on. Can't believe I'm begging for rain. Two more. Uh, I guess for copper we could do some more power, although... Hmm. 
What we really just need to do is spend some more power. So let's do some more upgrades then. That one too. And let's do this. Ultra filtration. Water filter performance. We don't have any water filters. I don't think. Question marks can be discovered from further away. Eh. Pentrite landmines are pointed. Yeah, I guess let's do that one. Uh, reveal all mystery spots on the ocean. That we can do. Can I just do a, another ship? A reconnaissance ship? Yep. Yeah. Uh... That's what I wanted to spend my power on, was that. Let's do a couple more of these. That'll give us a good start. And then you can go out to here. And then down to there. Build buildings, underwater mining shaft. That we can do. This, uh, let's do some lead of our own. And then some copper after that. Okay. You're done now. What'd you find over here? Just some land. Okay, come on over here. An island again. Okay, just some land down here then. I think I'll go ahead and delete that one before the next wave rolls in. That too, probably. And, uh, we need more people. Oh, yes, we need more people. Lots and lots and lots more people. Let's do some more of this. Even trade for more. find down here. Oh, you found a monolith. Nice. Activate. Monolith of darkness. Summons clouds. All right. Good or bad, they're definitely something. Let's do one of these here. That island I should probably do something about. Did I lose my ship? I must have. I don't know if there's a way to tell. I guess maybe I got an alert and I just didn't notice it. That's likely. Um, underwater mining shafts again, or uh, still, oh, there it is. And now I've got two. All right, fine. And you can come over to another one. Since I've got two, I might as well make it two. Oh, we don't have any more. Well then, never mind. Can I delete those ships? No, you cannot. All right, fine. And let's do underwater mining. That's what I was trying to do. Copper here. And then probably more lead. To get the lead out. Down here. There you are. Uh, trade center. Nice. Components are additional are additional upgrades that you can insert into building or ship slots to increase their stats and give them unique properties. Components vary both in, in both effects and quality. The higher their quality, the stronger their effects. New components can be found in the chest in chests or acquired through trade. However, they cannot be produced. All right, let's see what we have. We have a rare negation screw. Lowers the negative effects of a building's performance by 40%. Negative effects of a building's performance by 40%. I don't know exactly what that means. We'll see. All right. We are full up on power. Um, we should do some more housing then as well as uh, some more of this. I think I'm gonna put down some of these to square this bit off, if I could. 
Can I afford an upgrade? I cannot. Yes, I can now. Uh, we have a monolith here. Stops the storm. Okay. This can be deleted now. This can be deleted now. This can be deleted now. We could put a um, lumber mill in here. That would clear out those trees and let us add that mystery spot there. Uh, let's do some more defense stuff. Do some trades, since we have the uh, money for it. So I don't know what that did, where it went, or any of that. Indestructible boulder. And then um, build some more of this stuff. Uh, right here would be really good. Like that. Do more upgrades to the lead. Probably we could use some more power. What do they need? 2,000 now. Okay. There you are. Build more of these. And yeah, I need 12,000 lead to move on, which means I need more storage, which means I need to upgrade these warehouses. I'm going to try and make it through the next uh, storm. I really should try to protect that island, I guess, or maybe I should just move those things down here. Let's just move these rainwater filters down here. Oh, so those are rainwater filters. Oops. Uh, let's do this. And this. I'll do four of them. And then how about some lead for here? And then some of this lead for... There. And I want to do these two as well. Alright, you're done. Let's delete you. Need more people too. Jeez, old Pete's. I forgot I had a solar panel tucked in there. Let's build another miner's house or two over here. May end up moving that solar panel out or just removing it. Um, let's do this. These two. I'm going to give away that one. Although we could use more water. Actually. That one and this one. Not producing enough water for the miners. Yeah, thank you. Let's sell some of this stuff here. That'll go also. Okay. And then more upgrades to warehouses. And then we need more of these berms again. Like crazy. Trades first, and then more of those. Before we f finish this, oh, we need to buy more components too. There you go. Have at it. Place components in building component slots zero to four. Rare negation screw. Yeah, I don't understand what those do. What 
very wet performance crew. Building performance, spending kind of rain is falling. Well, that's... What was the effects of buildings negative? I don't know what that does. So don't know where I put it. There it is. More of these. Can I do... No. This one. That's better. Still push the wrong buttons. There we go. Um, so the negative... I don't know what that means. I guess maybe I don't have any buildings that fit under that because they don't have... I, I don't know. I used them. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I guess I didn't want to do that one. I don't suppose I can cancel it. Yeah. Here. Stop burning my stuff. Uh, repair building, please. And I think I have a spot for one right here. I do. Look at that. And it might just cover everything we need to cover, too. Here. Stop. How about... Oh, I need to upgrade the storage. There's one more here. More water, still. Come on. Actually, are those uh, in range? One, two, three are not in range. Let's upgrade this then, too. To get a bigger range. And more water production, please. Might as well do that one, even though it doesn't matter at this point. That's going to go away. Go ahead and delete it. Well, actually, I could, she could have waited to delete it. It's okay. Uh, we need one more warehouse. To get to the 12,000. That should do it. We are pretty safe and secure there. We'll see what happens in age four. Still need more water. Kind of half not surprised, but still. There's age four. Go. Increases the base durability of buildings by 20%. Chance that land will not sink during the flood, but the flood meter fills 10% faster. Terraforming every time a warehouse is demolished, a fissure appears in its place. When a water bank is demolished, a river appears in its place. That would kind of be interesting to make that artificial, or to make the, uh, the water you can scoop the, you can use the other collector from. That's an idea, but I think I'm just going to do this one. And uh, we have Naval Magnetic Mine. Fun! Let's do the rest of these here. And set up Naval Magnetic Mines at the marked spots. Uh, mark.
marked spots. Oh, right there. Okay. Those cost me what? 750 lead. Okay. Well then, let's get them started. I think I'm going to delete that solar panel and put a house in there instead. If I want to do any upgrades, I can do these upgrades too. Although we could really use some more water upgrades too. Mine. more. That'll give us a nice big fat range. Oh, it's got, it gives a lot bigger range. I figured one to like nine or something. It goes up to 15 with that. It covers my whole island. Nice. One. Here's some more of those. Okay, let's do these other mines. See what happens. My shipyard was destroyed. Why, thank you. Jerk. I don't know that I need it anymore, but... One, level one. It's them. They're coming. Is the ambush ready? Yes, mine's deployed. All right, stay alert. They might notice the trap and go around. Go around. All right, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? to come. Boom. That went smoothly. Thanks for the help. Now I know I can trust you. I found this log on one of the ships that mentions a pirate base to the west. That could be your next clue. We expected something more specific. How do we know if we can discover anything at that base? That's not my problem. To be honest, I was going there in a suicide... I think going there is a suicide mission. I don't know about you, but I'm setting off for the world's highest mountain. Aren't you worried that the flood may last forever if we don't stop it? Not really, and considering the size of that mountain, my generation won't be the one to worry about that. Okay, I can see we're not on the same page here. In that case, we're going west. Haha, <laughs> Godspeed. Come, Theo, take the helm. Actually, Nicholas, I went to go with the miners. I owe them. Ugh, I see you've lost your mind completely. Fine. Good riddance. Nice knowing you. If you somehow manage to get out of there safe and sound, head toward the Libra Constellation. Bon voyage. And that'll be victory. All three diamonds this time. Just about 30 minutes of playtime. 122 constructions, 52 upgrades. And that takes it will take us to Chapter 7, Biohazard, which we will take a look at in the uh, next episode where we, um, uh, we, we we attempt that one. Uh, this one went a bit easier than the last couple, but uh, who knows what we're going to come up against when we get into this. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.